We've been serializing the confessions of members of a deadly gang that killed, raped, robbed, and caused deep pains to their victims. The name of my village is all. I'm a dropout in the I used to college when I went to Lagos to struggle, so I only told one of my friends. So it was not that easy. So he introduced me to one of my friends, Kevin. So then he was into this robbery and he, he has money, he has cars. My other friend, Feliz, he's not around. He has traveled up, took me to him, and uh, he's somebody I've, I've met once in Wari before, some time ago. So after I introduced ourself, Feliz told him that, look, this is my problem. I said, actually, this is my problem. If you can help me, so I'll have money and get the house in Lagos, then I'll keep on living. He said, okay, no problem. So he gave me some time. Actually, he came. But, uh, when he came, he promised me that he's coming again, but he did not come. So I almost lose hope. So all of a sudden, he now sent somebody to come and pick me at fella house, late fella. So I went with the person and I met him. So from there, we started probably Then I've known, I'm not used to living. I can remember the areas, but the problem is that I can't remember these houses. First tag, uh, we have a. Uh, Ikeja. Ikeja is not much like that because I live in Ikeja, so I always prevent that area. And sometimes we do patronize this Abiyokuta Expressway. If you are going to Abiyokuta, then Suru Lere, Suru Lere, Uja. Yes, there are many also. Uh, we just saw the place and uh, we believe in this kind of as there will be money and because of the car parked outside the 306. That's how we normally carry on our pressure. So we cite your beauty and uh, the kind of cars you have in the company. Enable us to know that there will be money in the house. So actually that very day well, we, I saw this trio system. So I believe the person in the house will have money. So actually we came. We, I knocked at the door personally. So they saw me and they, I tell them I want to see Oka. So they just immediately opened. So we came in and hold them hostage. So asked of their father, they said not around, their mother is upstairs. We take them upstairs and collect our money and uh, our jewelries. The kind of surveillance we do is that if we are new to the area, we will make sure we drive the street, we discover the roads, how many roads coming and going out. Then we survey the area. Then we can just mark a specific building, which we feel that if we come into this building, we will get enough money. So that's how we do it. Then later we'll come in the evening. First, early in the evening, at from 7, 8. Maybe in the night we came, we, we find it difficult to go inside the house. Of which we believe that if we can penetrate into this house, we'll get money. That was that is when, if I cannot gain entrance that evening, I will not come in the morning, very early in the morning, as I'm waking up from sleep. What happened in Roke is that uh, when we came to the area, when we drive in that gate, so that very day, we could not rob anybody in that area, but we cited, only we cited the car and the, the building. So I feel in my mind that there would be money in this house. So the very day, we, I make an attempt to penetrate, but I couldn't, I did not succeed. So immediately I was trying to not, um, try the door, whether it's open. She was just coming out. And immediately she sees me, she shocked, she was afraid. So I just greeted her, I told her, I'm sorry, I'm looking for an address. So she now directed me that I should go to the other side. So that very day we left and in my mind we were about we I told my friend that we should wait for her for some time. That definitely she must come and lock her gate. So after waiting for some time, my friend said no, we are wasting time that we should go and try other places. So that was how we left that very week. So it was the following time when we came. So I just said, let's just try that place again first before any other place. So we came that very day. It was my friend. So I now asked him to go and try because I said that very day, Ruka have already sighted me. So then she might come down. So my friend should go and try the door. So if we succeed, we go. If we lost us, we leave. So luckily for we, my friend went there and tried. The, somebody just came and opened immediately and we went in. We robbed her and she was raped. And the raping aspect is, you know, seeing her as a very um, a classic woman that is very difficult to Maybe she is along the way we see her. So 
So it's like that's the kind of opportunity. Uh, FCDA quarter, rubber bands, both flats. The way we came to the the, uh, the building that very day, it was one flat downstairs. We came into that flat. So when we came in, the woman was not at home. Even the man was not at home. We met the kids alone. So we hold them on the stage, started searching. The process of searching, the mother now came. So the mother came and uh, when she came in, we hold her hostage also and tell her we are robbers and this is what we want. We need our money, we need our jewelries, or we take her life. You know, that is the normally threat language we give to them. So she said no problem. She now gave us the money and the jewelries she have. So we are not satisfied. We now ask her, I now ask her personally that who is the person living upstairs. So she told me it's one at larger. So I said she should take me there. So I gave her another threat again that if she cannot make me gain entrance into the house, that I will kill her. She said no problem. So she took me upstairs, me and Dennis. So we left Elvis with the children in her home, uh, her flat downstairs. So we take her upstairs. So she now knocked at that Elijah. So I asked her what, are the, what is the relationship between she and the woman. She said, well, they're just go tell her that. I asked her whether they have any problem. She said, no, okay, fine. Wish me she can wake up for us. She said, yes. So she now knocked at the door and they tell the Elijah that she wants to see her for an emergency. So the woman opened for her when I came in. So we robbed her of her money to and her cherries. So I asked her again to go out. I asked her who is the other uh, person opposite her. That the woman is a newscaster and uh, he must make love with her. So she finds it difficult to open the, the door. It's like she knew something is going to happen. She keeps on asking questions, questions and more questions. So, so we are in the corner watching the woman, whether she would blink eye. But the woman did not, she cooperated fully and uh, luckily for her, she opened the door. So when I came in, so when she saw us, she did not hesitate, she did not, uh, she did not, I mean, disobey our, our order. So she take us to her room, so we collect her money and her jewelry. So my friend take her to one of the bedrooms and drink her. And that IBB road, I think uh, this yellow woman there, so this one yellow woman. I think the last woman I met here that day. That woman has, see, I've sat at that place for some weeks. But whenever we come, we find it difficult to go in because of this crowd of malas that used to sit around the front of the compound. So we feel when we interrupt them, they might disturb our business. So whenever we come like that, we come there several times, about four or five times. Whenever we come to Abuja, we must visit that area just to check. And whenever we have, we started any house like that, you know, if we cannot penetrate that very day, whenever we come, we keep on checking the house. So that was how we keep on checking that woman's place until that very day. When we came, we were so lucky. There was only one car outside and somebody in the car. And it's like the guy came to visit the girl who's living in the boys' quarter. So it's like the girl is trying to escort, I mean, seeing the guy off. So I just said, there's no need to wait for, so long they are two alone, there's no need to wait for them. So we just came in and uh, arrest two of them, merged them into the compound. That was not the woman's compound, there was one white guy before, very close. So that was where we penetrated in. When we went into the house, we discovered it, is, uh, it was a white man and a white lady. So we robbed them of about uh, $2,000 dollars and some Naira and uh, the woman's uh, jewelries. So now we come in and my friend just said we should just visit the next beauty. So I tried to discourage him. He said, no, that this is the opportunity that we'll be coming here for a long time now. We've not been able to penetrate. So this time around, let us choose this opportunity. That's okay, fine. So we now just, and by, by then, this girl and that man, they were still discussing. So we just went to them straight and arrest them, march them into the compound. Went upstairs to that woman's house. So we met her in her bedroom. She was see, she was on phone call, and uh, we tell her we are robbers and we want her money and her jewelries. So she complied. So and gave us her money and uh, her jewelries. Uh, I read that. I, 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 I,